are so many questions when it comes to who to start for a kicker and defense and who you plug into your lineup here can make all the difference in a win or a loss in your matchup. But don't worry, we got you. SI's fantasy analyst Michael Fabiano is joining me for insight on how to set your lineups. Fabs, give the people what they need, a kicker and a defense to start this week. Hey, just like my pal Rich Eisen said, kickers are people too. And I absolutely love kickers because they score points and points as points. And I would start Young Hoku this week against Detroit. He was my start of the week among kickers last week. 18 fantasy points, so uh, I guess I'll bestow the honor on him. Once again, this should be a very high-scoring game. Uh, DK Sportsbook has this at 56.5 for an over-under, and Koo has done very well at home, averaging nearly 10 fantasy points per game at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium since 2019, so make sure he is in your lineup. And then the Bills' defense. Caitlin, this basically is who's playing the Jets this week, right? And that's the Bills. The Jets' offense is terrible, whether it's Joe Flacco or Sam Darnold. They just cannot get it done. They're averaging a league low 12.5 points per game. Defenses facing the Jets are averaging a league high 11.2 fantasy points per game. The Jets are also third among defenses at time of possession. The Bills are the number one start in fantasy football among defenses special teams units. It's been a tough two weeks for the Bills, but as you mentioned, they're facing an O in six Jets. So this is definitely going to be a bounce back Maybe a team that's, that's actually worse than my Cowboys. <laughs> See, there's still hope. NFC is, you know, still hope for the NFC. You got this. Mm. Jets are bad. All right, but let's talk about a kicker in the defense you really just should stay away from. Yeah, I'm going to avoid Robbie Gold. And Gold has been one of the better kickers in fantasy football during his time in San Francisco. But this season, not so much. He's tied for 16th in fantasy points among kickers. And, like, I get it. Brandon McManus had six field goals against the Patriots last week. That is not going to happen again. In fact, going into that game, the Patriots had only allowed just five field goals. So Gold is going to be a fade for me as are the Broncos' defense and special teams. They were great last week in New England, put up 14 fantasy points, but I would not chase those points. Look at the numbers. The Broncos had sky scored a combined 15 points in their previous games, and they're playing Patrick Mahomes at home this week. Mahomes and the Chiefs scoring nearly 30 fantasy points per game. They have the fourth fewest giveaways, so they don't turn the ball over. So if you were smart enough to play the Broncos defense last week, congratulations to you. Get them out of your starting lineup in week seven. Get them out. And hey, as you said, kickers are people too. And now, now we know who to start this week. So Fabs, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, for more advice and Sports Illustrated's award-winning weekly player rankings, get your membership to SI Fantasy Plus for just $14.99 a month.